So hello everybody, you're watching Sliced Lime with an update to my custom smelting recipes in Minecraft system. So a couple of weeks ago I demoed a concept for custom smelting recipes in Minecraft. It was actually this little uh, system over here and it wasn't finished, it wasn't something that could be used, there was no download link for it. And a bunch of people left comments saying they really wanted it and I promised to give it to them. And then I had a small snag involving a flooded house. And if you haven't heard about that, you can find out in my recent channel update if you're interested. But anyway, I finally got to the point where I can release this, and I've uh, cleaned it up and made it possible to add more recipes to it. So, let me demo the system for you. I have this button for getting an advanced furnace, and this is now much quicker. I just place it down, and it uh, lights up. So these advanced furnaces are always lit, they are always on, because of an implementation detail in Minecraft. I have four recipes in the system and you can add your own or change them or whatever, but let's take this uh, old iron armor that I have and let's smelt it out. So I put in, it's fueled by lava buckets now, so you put in a lava bucket, it starts running, you see this massive amount of smoke, it burns through the lava quickly because it's uh, an advanced furnace and... Then I get two iron ingots from that. Yeah, so, why not? It's decent. Uh, so let's smelt up some of these. It's a normal smelting time. Uh, the old one was slow, and it used to close the window automatically whenever you did something, and that's all fixed now. So you get four iron ingots for a chest plate in this system, and three for leggings, and three for, uh, three for leggings, two for helmet, two for boots. Anyway, that's how it looks. You can shift click this in, but you can't shift click in uh, the boots because that will. Uh, they, the game doesn't recognize them as going in here. Uh, but you can shift click the buckets in and out. So, there will be a download link in the video description and it will be to uh, an MCAD schematic file that you can put in your old world. There's an install button that just sets up the entire system, starts everything running. And there's a bunch of command blocks here on the left that are all the sort of built in the system. You shouldn't be looking at these at all. And then there's a button to get an advanced furnace, and that just gives you an advanced furnace. Uh, if you want to use this, you should maybe figure out uh, another way of making these, or if you want to just hand them to players or whatever. It is just a furnace named advanced furnace. These command blocks, however, uh, the first row are a setup one, so don't touch those, but these are the recipes. So there's space for 16 ones right now, but you can extend it if you want. It's just a bit more hassle than just uh, modifying the ones that we have. So these first four are used right now. And if you want to change a recipe or add a recipe, you open up the top block. And there it says this item's uh, ID, my craft, your item, and the slot's 0B. So what you do to change this is you just go in and you edit this. So let's see. Is it gold, golden, golden chest plate? So this is the source item. So we could go gold, golden chest plate here for SCP five, and then this other one, this block that the sign is on, is where you go in and you add in the result. So gold, ingot, and uh, four, maybe. So now I could go over here, uh, grab myself a golden chest plate, put that in, and it will smelt up. So this item has to be uh, recognized from one of the recipes. This has to be a lava bucket. And you have to leave it in, and then you get the output. So that's it, you can add 16 recipes here of your own, and if you look at the first four, they are obviously the iron recipes, so you can just change those. Uh, if you want more than 16 recipes, you have to add more to this fill clock. And the way you do that is you open this block up, and you change this number 16 to be the number of recipes you want. And then you go into this one, and you change this number 16 to be the number of recipes you want. So let's add one just for demonstration. So now we have 17, and you see this extends then. And what you need to do is these two blocks, uh, 
the ones that you won't be modifying you just need to copy and the easiest way to do that is to control uh, middle click them and then just place that and then control middle click that and, and paste that now in this block the one on the side you need to change the recipe number here at the end so we'll add one so we have furnace recipe 17 uh, so we copy this block and then we have to again just change uh, this item IT to be your recipe item and then we're also going to copy that block and you're going to change the ID and the amount as usual but then here there's also another few values to change and there's if you go to the start of the line and, and hold control and then click the right arrow two times you end up here and uh, you change this number and this number to be 17 or 18 or 19 as you go along. And that's all you need to make a 17th re recipe. And then you can do that for however many you want. Like as long as this fill clock will go. And that's quite a bit before it starts going into unloaded chunks. So you should probably put this in your spawn chunks. And your spawn chunks are where your world spawn is. If you uh, don't know where that is, you just sleep in a bed, destroy the bed, and then kill yourself, and you will spawn where the world spawn is. As far as I can tell, it doesn't seem to lag the world much at all, but then again, I've been running this on a fairly powerful computer, so it's hard to say exactly how much it will lag your world. Anyway, I think that's about it about the system. If you want it, there's a download link in the video description, and the link as well to the Planet Minecraft project page for it. If you have an interesting use for it, or if you have any questions or comments or suggestions for improvements, feel free to leave a comment, let me know, and I will do my very best to help you or address the issues. Thank you very much for watching, I will see you next time.